electing his brother, Shehbaz Sharif. Shehbaz Sharif is now the consensus candidate. He will get support from the Bhuttos, but only from the outside. And what's in it for the Bhuttos? The presidency. Asif Ali Zardari could become the next pri president of Pakistan. He'll have support from the Sharifs. It's a textbook case of quid pro quo. Shehbaz Sharif gets votes from the Bhuttos to become prime minister. In exchange, the Sharif support Asif Ali Zardari for the presidency. Both sides appeared before the press last night and they announced this alliance. जी हमारी जो जो इतिहादी जमाते हैं उन्होंने उनकी मैं तहदिल से शुक्रगुजार हूँ उन्होंने पीएमएलएन के हक में वोट देने का फैसला किया है मैं उनका बहुत शुक्रगुजार हूँ हम आपस में मिल बैठ के हकुमत बनाएंगे इंशाअल्लाह पाकिस्तान को मुश्किलों से निकालेंगे और अल्लाह ने चाहा तो हर वो मुश्किल जो हमें पाकिस्तान में पेश आ रही है चाहे इकोनॉमिकल हो चाहे टेररिज्म हो या रिकन्सलेशन रिकन्सलेशन भी करनी है और रिकन्सलेशन में पीटीआई भी शामिल है so the coalition is in place. It has six leaders. It has leaders rather from six parties, including independents from Imran Khan's party. Yes, some of them have already switched sides and joined Nawaz Sharif's camp. The Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz, an old stronghold of the Sharifs. In Punjab, Maryam Nawaz will lead the government. She's the daughter of Nawaz Sharif. She'll become the chief minister. So the Sharifs will command significant political power in Pakistan. They're truly back in business, thanks to the military. But they had a last-minute scare, courtesy Imran Khan. He is in jail, but he continues to challenge his opponents. His party tried to find coalition partners to cobble up a majority. It did not work. So for now, Imran Khan seems to have accepted the outcome. His party shared this, this post on social media, a picture from the press conference we just showed you, featuring Shehbaz Sharif and Asif Ali Zardari. The caption says, Mandate Thieves. Today, Imran Khan appeared in court. He got a chance to speak to some reporters. This was his first in-person statement since the election. And what did he say? That the mandate has been stolen and the votes were tampered with. Partner. The Jamaat-e-Islami, until yesterday, they were on board, ready to support Imran Khan's candidates in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa to form a coalition government there. But today, they backtracked. At the same time, they've also questioned the election result. They too believe the poll was rigged. मैं समझता हूँ कि ये पूरा जो जमुरियत है उसके ऊपर हमला है और ये डाका है अवामी राय के ऊपर और ये हमारे आइन और कानून की खिलाफ फर्जी है और जो लोग भी इसके मुर्तकिब हैं उन्होंने पाकिस्तान के साथ अच्छा नहीं किया जमुरियत के साथ अच्छा नहीं किया. It's clear that the army tried to fix this election and botched it up. Now they're installing an unstable government. It may have the majority on the floor of the house, but it doesn't have popular support. And their nemesis, Imran Khan, may be behind bars, but he can still mobilize the masses.